Hello, Claudia. I just pulled out our 2014 Ford Explorer. I wanted to show it to you. I know I was chatting to you on the phone, but I always like to introduce myself in person so you can see my face, get to know who you're dealing with, and of course, I want to show you the vehicle that you're inquiring upon. It's got a lot of great options, and I know you got a long ways to travel to see us, so I want to make sure you like it before we go any further. Let's take a look. So here it is, our 2014 Ford Explorer. A little bit bigger than the Escape. Give you a nice look at the rims here. I'll take a step inside and we'll go over a few of the options. So, on the side here, we've got your pre programmed adjustable seating, power locks. Down here, we've got your power mirrors, and they do have power fold as well. So, if you're in a tight spot or a tight area, you can fold them in and you don't have to worry about anyone knocking them off if you're away. Down here, you've got your lighting control and your trunk button. So this will, you have a power trunk, so it opens it and then presses again and it'll close it up for you. Let's give you a look at the center console here. Then we'll pull back. You've got your menu options here. Your cruise control. Over here you have your hands-free options, volume control for your stereo, tuning, and uh, your menu uh, buttons as well. Nice feature to have at your fingertips. Over here in the center console you've got your Bluetooth uh, sync up, navigation, heated and cooled seats, as well as a heating steering wheel for those cold days. Uh, you've got your radio, and then down here We've got your dual climate control, fan speed, of course air conditioning, and we'll just pull back here and I'll show you a few USB ports down here as well. You also have an auxiliary cable and your SD card as well. Now we'll pull back here, show you the variable traction control. So depending on where you're at. Come winter time, you probably want it on the snow setting. It's a nice little option to have. Let me just give you a general look at the inside of the vehicle here. Now, I'm just going to hop into the back seat here. So we can take a look at everything in the back. So, up top, you do have the moon roof, so it does come back all the way to the back seat. It's a nice option, really opens up the, the sky on a nice evening or the sun in during a nice day. Down here, we've got heated seats for the passengers, your climate control, so they can make themselves comfortable back here. If they have anything to plug in, you've got your AC power available as well as your DC power as well and of course your cup holders just give you a look at the back seat here you do have your cup holders here as well so I'll take a hop into the back seat so it does have the power lift option so this will lift itself right up and right now, you've got seating for seven passengers, but if you ever need to fold down your seats, it does have power seat right here. So, you can either choose the left or the right or both. This first button here, fold your seats up. Then, we hit the stow button. and they'll fold themselves right down and you've got all that extra storage space you'll need when you're hauling anything just really a nice option to have and then when you're if you have a car load of anyone just hit the normal button and your extra seating will fold right out for you and now you're back to your seven passenger vehicle
And then when you're all done in the back, a quick push to the trunk button up top, and that door's gonna close itself. So yeah, again, thank you for inquiring. Um, I'll be in touch with you shortly. I just wanted to send along a video and uh, let you get a good look at the vehicle you're inquiring on. So, have a great day.